Well, you know, the fundamental fact is that the justice of the cause of the people of IBA is clear. These are South Sudanese, okay, mm -hmm. who for administrative reasons, for some practical security considerations, were administered as part of Sudan. When, one, when we were one country, the question of the IBA status within the Sudan was accepted. IBA was the only area in the Sudan that was administered by something called the Chief's Court's Ordinance, which was applying in the South, which means that they were Southern Sudanese with a cultural identity that was Southern, though being administered in the North. Now, when the country is then divided into two countries, there is no question that the Mogdinka belong to the South, and even the Northern Sudanese know that. Yes. The question then is, there are some concerns on their part. Of course, when an area is part of your country, it's never easy mm. to let go, sure. okay? Sure. Uh, because it's a loss of, of uh, an entity. Yeah. So there is need for negotiations. In negotiations, there has to be a win-win, if possible. The question we need then is, assuming and granted that ABA is part of the South, and not just the people, but also their land, mm -hmm. then what is it that the Sudan is concerned about uh, that needs to be negotiated? Uh, one aspect of it is access to water and grazings by the nobles. But there's probably more to it than that. What is it that Khartoum wants? Is it the sharing of resources? Is it oil? Let us talk about it. So I think that the goal is in everybody's interest. And I think the method to reach that goal might have some differences, but it's manageable. And I'm glad to see that there is now a renewed interest on the part of the two countries to enter into serious negotiations, and I'm sure they will come to an amenable so, solution. Okay. Let me ask this. In your opinion, who is to blame for the conflict now or the problem now that two countries want to solve? And what is the contribution of the West countries uh, on the problem? Knowing that historically they have interfered in this problem, but they haven't even addressed the issue of, a ter of the territory. So who is to blame in your opinion? You know, I don't believe mm -hmm. in the blame game because if you blame, you're just intensifying the conflict. Mm -hmm. Let us assume that people are usually motivated by some understandable interest. And negotiation means negotiating those understandable interests. So you approach your adversary, not with the hostility that they are to blame, mm -hmm. but with the open mind that there are differences based on some understandable reasons. What are those reasons? Let us presume that rights and wrongs are never one-sided. Okay? Yes, there might be justice on one side, but it doesn't mean that the other side is totally without some cause. Mm -hmm. The role of the international community is to have a third-party mediation, if only to save face, because nobody wants to say, I'm defeated, I am lost, I have lost, the other had won. No. Mm -hmm. The international community is here to moderate, to help the parties explore the common ground, to give justice to the cause of the people of IBA, but also to see what the concerns of Sudan are and how they can be accommodated. And I think that's doable. Yeah. On this negotiation, as a last question, do you feel that it will bring peace to the region? Of course, and the way to look at it mm. is if you assume the negative, that IBA will continue to be a contested area. By the way, IBA contributed towards the resumption of hostilities in uh, 1983, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, so if we assume that IBA continuing to be a contested area can potentially generate another conflict between the two countries now, then we take the opposite side. Don't they stand to win by negotiating an agreement that makes a BA be a point of reconciliation and cooperation rather than a point of contest and conflict that could ignite war between the two countries that nobody wants. So we have to find a solution and be sure that we can find a solution because the alternative is not desirable.